early church gatherings don't look like what modern church gatherings look like. Archaeologists have found one of the earliest dedicated spaces for Christian meetings. It dates from around 230 AD, roughly 200 years after the cross. It's called the Megiddo or Megiddo because that's where it was located, mosaic. It's called mosaic because all that's left is basically the floor and it was decorated with all of this intricate tile work that has pictures, inscriptions, designs, etc. So let's look at what may be some of the surprises about this early Christian meeting center, okay? It was about 500 square feet. So here's a person inside of it that can kind of give you an idea for how big it is. The inscriptions are very interesting. Now you can go see this for yourself at the Museum of the Bible in Washington, D.C. But the inscriptions say things like, of course, that God is Jesus. It also mentions seven people. Five of those people are actually women. Before I go farther, I got to need to mention the only furniture there was this right here. Now, modern day churches, what would they call that right there? Here inscribed in the mosaic, it talks about this lady, this is a woman's name, who donated this piece of furniture, and what is it called? It's called a table. Now again, there is a Greek word for altar, but they specifically use the word table. This idea of altars and that sort of thing had not come into Christian meetings yet. Again, tables are things where you eat from, you receive from the table, the Lord's table not the Lord's altar where you put a sacrifice on there. No, this is a table that you receive from. And look at the floor plan. You're gathered around. There's not a stage with one guy up there. Why is that? Why do we see this gathering around? Well, if you follow my content, hopefully you know this verse. It talks about a Christian assembly, about Christians coming together. A lot of people were participating. A lot of people were doing things. It wasn't a one-man show. And the purpose was for edification, to build one another up, not to, not to do this sacrifices to gods like the Jews did, like pagans did. It's a whole, it was a whole different ball game. We also see four women mentioned to be remembered, to be honored. It doesn't say why. Maybe they were martyrs. Uh, maybe they were prominent figures. We don't know. But again, of the seven names mentioned, five were women. And that's the original purpose of Christianity, is to build each other up. It's a family. It's to become, to improve, to grow, to look more like Jesus Christ. It's a family gathering, not some weird ritual to appease an angry God. If you'd like more information about this, go to the Museum of the Bible online or the Journal of Biblical Archaeology. Another interesting fact was that this was located in something we might view as maybe an apartment building or a barracks or something like that. It was believed that these buildings housed the families of Roman soldiers, and so they had this little room set aside. Anyway, God bless you.